to another episode of Between Two Cakes, Worcester Village Beer Festival's weekly webisode series. We're here with Doug Emery from Russell Brewing this week. Hi, Liam. Good to have you. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, what are we drinking right now? We're drinking our brand new North Star Stout. Uh, we just launched it yesterday. It's really easy drinking. Mm -hmm. We went after a North American Stout recipe, but we used the brand new Polaris Hop. I haven't even heard of that. Uh, it's supposed to invoke a little bit of mint flavors, but what we're getting instead is actually we're getting a lot of black cherry flavors. Almost like a cooked mint pie. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's uh, by uh, the brewers thought it would be perfect to uh, blend in with a traditional American style stuff. No, it's, it's delicious. Uh, do you want to tell us a bit more about Russell and what you do down there? So I am the regional sales manager for Russell. So that involves um, the sales, the sales team, uh, a little bit of concept and marketing. Um, you know, coordinating with all the other parts of the machine. So you pulled this North Star Stout. I oh, know it's a little bit left, thank you very much. Uh, add all of these bad boys. I've not seen these before on the shelves. Brand new. So it features um, a, a four of our Brewmaster series and uh, the two of the brand new uh, stouts. And the only way to get the stout is in the, in the mixer pack. Oh, cool. So you have two stouts and then one of each of the others. The first one of the other is the uh, East of Promises, Czech Pilsner. Big fan. It's Very well done. It's had Saz hops once you get that going properly. Uh, that one's, um, and the conditioning on the Pilsners is what is the effort required. And um, that's, uh, it's harder than you think to manage your conditioning tanks in the limited space you have. How big is your guys' facility? I'm not, I'm not in now. Uh, if our facility's running optimally, we can produce somewhere between 10 to 12,000 hectoliters a year. So it's still not very big. It's still very much a manual brewery. There's still snow shovels to uh, get the wort out. And uh, we still have a local farmer come by and pick up all of our used uh, spent grain. That's awesome, because yeah. you guys get out there, you've done a fantastic job of being as spread out and exposed as possible. So we, that's awesome, that yeah. is from a smaller kind of brewery. Thank you, we've been working hard on that. And we've been around since 1995. We're one of the oldest craft breweries out there. And um, we've had some, uh, some successes and some failures <laughs> along the way. And uh, I think our path right now is just to keep creating new and interesting beers as well as stand by our, our Brewmaster series. The story behind the, uh, the, wee, the wee Heavy, the Wee Angry? No. So the story I've heard from years ago is um, if you go to an English bar, the traditional the beers are between 3 and 5%, and you'll have several pints of them. But the wee heavy was for the gentlemen that are slightly older in age with the swollen prostates, so they could drink half as much, <laughs> but, but be able to just keep up with their friends. So this has been another episode of Between Two Cakes, where we had Russell Brewery this week with Doug. Um, and it's been a blast. It's been great to hear about some of the stories behind some of the beers and what you guys do. Cheers. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Liam.